Aloha, I'm Reverend Dr. Glenn Swartout. Welcome to our course on the five phases of healing. The five phases model of health is a model of the biophysics of the terrain inside the body, the conditions that grow health or disease. You know, different types of disease processes and organisms can only grow in certain conditions. That's why in the laboratory, if you want to grow a fungus, a bacterium, a, a virus, you need very specialized growth medium, petri dishes that have different kinds of cells in them. Viruses will only grow in attenuated cells. Those are cells with very, very low energy. They're still alive. They have to be alive or the virus can't grow, but they can't be very alive or the virus won't grow, won't actually get to the cell membrane if there's too much energy, if there's a force field of energy around that cell. So uh, in this course, you're going to learn all about that, all about how to navigate those terrains. When we are getting sick, we're, we're decreasing in the phases, we're dropping our energy level, our, our level of health. Uh, and getting out of balance and uh, there's a lot of details to that you're going to learn all about it and to read the roadmaps the road signs along the way uh, of what i call the roadmap to health <clears throat> so th this comes from decades of uh, observation and measurement of people's actual body fluids the the blood the urine the saliva in a system called a bioelectronics of Vincent. professor Vincent was was uh, hired by the by, by the nation of france to uh, take a look at the water supplies. Different communities had different kinds of water you know, almost 100 years ago, and uh, there were different types of diseases associated with those water supplies. And so as the chief hydrologist for the nation, he was in charge of the epidemiology, meaning studying the, the effect on the health. And so he measured the physics of the water, The as I interpret it, you know, uh, bring it down to a level that we can really relate to is he's measuring the protons the electrons and the light the physics the energetics of the water and this is real science it's real energy that he's measuring measuring according to the Nernst equation of physics so uh, based on the balance of the protons which is alkaline acid balance based on the balance of the electrons which is redox oxidation reduction balance and based on the light content Again, that's my uh, interpretation of it as I see it as a, a vision scientist and a, a healer. Uh, the, the light is what creates ionization. And we know, you know, as an Ivy League uh, chemistry uh, honors <laughs> graduate, too, from Dartmouth, uh, it, it's not often how we speak of it, but it's how we can actually understand it at a deeper level. Every chemical reaction, every chemical bond is light carried by an electron and in an orbit between uh, between different uh, protons or a collection of protons, you know, in, in the nucleus of atoms. So, so it's it's deep stuff, and it's how we've been able to help people heal, even from blinding eye diseases, where the, the all the all the uh, textbooks say it's irreversible. We've worked with multiple patients over the last 30 years who've restored functional vision, despite again the the textbook saying it's irreversible blindness uh, and those were cases uh, in my practice that were mo being monitored by harvard trained retinal specialists so uh, this is a system that really works we've we've used it for 30 years uh, we use it to work with people you know in 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 person in the office as well as coaching and consulting remotely. Uh, we're doing this course to help train you to either to take care of your own, your own health with greater depth of understanding, greater power for healing, or as a caregiver, a healer, a, a physician, or other, other health practitioner. So uh, glad you're here and look forward to working with you. Please do engage when you get in the course. Ask questions. That's going to help everybody, not just you. Don't, don't be afraid to get involved. Uh, help me add more to the course to help you understand this material because it's, it's that important. Welcome. Glad you're here.